July 2018 In the article I wrote for the July 2018 issue of this newsletter, I told you the book Not All Israel is Israel provides the rock-solid foundation on which I base nearly everything else I teach. It explains how Jesus Christ became corporate Israel via a process in which the living Word of God cut off everyone else from corporate Israel. I explained the significance of the Hebrew idiom cut off from, and gave you a list of activities, Not All Israel is Israel. Pages 107 through 110, for which the individual members of corporate Israel could lose their position in that corporate body. I told you that one of the most important takeaways you can gain from Not All Israel is Israel is an accurate understanding of Romans chapter 11, where the Apostle Paul is talking about the fact that Jesus Christ is now corporate Israel. Everyone else, both Jew and Gentile, must be grafted back into the same corporate body from which the Jews were all cut off. Paul insists God has not abandoned his people because Jesus Christ still remains as a remnant of that august body, but since the unrepentant Jews have lost their position in it, they must be grafted in again. What he says is impossible to understand if you don't know Jesus Christ became corporate Israel when all the other Jews were cut off from corporate Israel, simply because he uses the name Israel to refer to both Jesus Christ as corporate Israel and the Jews who were members of that corporate body before they were cut off from it. I told you a second takeaway from not all Israel is Israel that is just as important as the first, is an accurate understanding of how Romans chapter 11 relates to the Assyrian captivity of the ten tribes of the sons of Israel in the northern kingdom in 722 BC. I said if one does not understand the significance of those ten tribes becoming Gentile, the meaning and significance of what Paul explains in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through 22, will elude him.